introduction. I would like uh, first to acknowledge uh, Dr. Sergio Ortiz Luis Jr., President of the Peel Export, and also he is the father of the Philippine Export. My dear family in the Department of Trade and Industry, I would like to start with um, Director Senen Perlada, Executive Director of uh, the EDC. Director uh, Ms. Leonor Abilia, Vice President for Promotions, Peel Export. Regional Director Linda Cunhao, DTI Region 10. Regional Director Bell Ambi of DTI Region 11. RD Constantine Haugan, DTI Region 12. And my dear friend RD Gay Tidalgo, DTI Caraga and uh, the Peel Export Chapter Heads, colleagues from the government, exporters, guests, and participants. A very good afternoon to everyone. Maayong hapon sa tanan. And let me greet also uh, everyone in a universal greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the third and last, but not the least, Virtual PDP Regional Consultation. The first and second virtual PDP consultation were done in Luzon and Visayas. And today is the last league of the virtual exercises. Despite the presence of the coronavirus in our midst, the Export Development Council is tirelessly continuing to do its mandate of implementing the PEDP 2018 to 2022. And it's the reason why we are having this exercise today. This PEDP regional consultation is being conducted to serve as a venue to review and assess the strategies, plans and programs before the crisis and if they are still relevant and doable in the face of the ongoing pandemic, and whether or not we can still achieve the goal of our export target of 122 billion to 130 billion US dollar by 2022. No calamity, no deadly disease like the dreaded coronavirus can stop our noble work of trying to regain our foothold and go back up as fast as we can to recover and rebuild our economy. The dreaded disease almost wiped out the businesses, livelihood and jobs of countless Filipinos, depicting a scenario of survival of the fittest. Many went hungry, many got sick, and many lives were lost, and many lost their jobs. But the survivalist nature of the Filipino people prevailed. Nevertheless, the virus made its mark on the export sector as it became, it became clear. Early on that, the sector would become one of the hardiest hit. As a result, our export performance went down drastically, creating several issues like the unprecedented problems encountered related to the local and global supply chains. As an example, making the transport of goods and services difficult because of too many checkpoints everywhere. Abroad, our shipments were turn away at international borders, citing travel bans and safety and health protocols, thus resulting to port congestion, higher shipping fees and surges. The pandemic really created chaos and havoc not only to people but to industries and sectors all over the world. It made exporting too difficult for every country, especially the Philippines. Even our economist does not have the concrete answer on how to get out of the mess this dreaded 
pandemic has created. But then again, no matter how hard hit the export sector is, they remain to be one of the most resilient sector in the country, weathering all kinds of challenges as they try to bring in the much needed revenue of our country and generate jobs of our people. The pandemic made the stakes too high for exporters to achieve the PEDP 2018 to 2022 export target. And this is precisely the reason for today's exercise. I know Mindanao has a lot of problems and issues that need to be addressed, especially on exports. I know that my Muslims, brothers and sisters, especially in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region, need the kind of assistance that the Department of Trade and Industry, Peel Export, and ADC, and the whole of the government are providing to the other regions. Mindanao, that as the land of promise, has a lot to offer in terms of export of goods and services. And we are here to know your concern and what intervention you need to address to those problems. The pandemic may have changed our lives, but never our vision of making the Philippines as an exporting nation. How to achieve as a country in the midst of such a dreaded pandemic maintain such a vision? The answer is through the PEDP regional consultation. And so, in order to effectively implement the current PEDP, I call on everyone present in this assembly to let us collectively work together to reach our common goal. We need your inputs, insights, and collaboration in formulating the best strategies, plans, and programs, as well as policy reforms that will ensure the economic prosperity of our nation through exports. Since we are all in a virtual mood, I invite all of you to sit back and relax in the comfort of your own home. As you do your tasks and exercises for the PEDP today, I want you to do it with passion in order to recharge and reignite the inherent resilience of the exporting community. Once again, welcome and I am hoping for a very fruitful day ahead. Thank you. Daghan salamat. Mabuhay po tayong lahat.